Hello, everybody, and welcome back to an all-new game news for Brad McDonald. Today is just a regular talk, topic video. If you guys don't know, I am a huge Resident Evil fan. I just don't discuss it much with people on the channel. But I'm wanting to bring more Resident Evil content to you guys. So, yeah. But there's no gameplay that plays or anything today. Um, so, today, I am going to tell you guys... The two Resident Evil games they should make after Resident Evil um, 4, which comes out this March. I mean, next Mar year on March. So, that's going to be nice. March or February, I can't remember which. Uh, but, anyways, um, these are the two games, I think, of Resident Evil that Capcom should make in... There's really good reasons on it, and Capcom hasn't done a thing about it. So, my first one is Resident Evil Zero. Now, I know it's not all that perfect of a game, but literally a thing that's been stumping fans of Resident Evil for years, ever since Resident Evil Zero came out, is what happened to Billy Cohen after Resident Evil Zero? And I think they can expand upon this like they did uh, uh, in a DLC like they did Resident Evil 2. They expand upon the story with um, DLCs. So it'd be just nice to have a throw uh, to find out what happened to it. And that's the main reason I want it. it. They could throw in a DLC about it. It'd be nice, but Capcom has announced anything like that. And they've completely shit on the game a lot and strayed away from it. The only character really they have given justice to was Rebecca Chambers. And that's because she appeared in Resident Evil Vendetta year, a few years back. Which isn't a game, but it's a companion movie to the games. So, uh, literally, my second one is Resident Evil Code Veronica. Another one that Capcom shits on. And people have been wanting a remake for years with over-the-shoulder uh, um, sh shooting, over-the-shoulder shooters. Uh, it's just third person. And people have been wanting that. And literally, you can move the camera around and stuff. They've been wanting that instead of just one joystick and then fix camera angles. But like I said, Capcom has shit on the game multiple times. And it just sucks. Um, they kind of do like Silent Hill with the games. And kind of just shit on the games later on. Uh, but it would just be nice that instead of fixed camera angles. Because heck, when Resident Evil Code Veronica came, was a thing... Uh, literally, the fixed camera angles were so bad, you go around a corner and I automatically just get killed because there would be no warning that something's around there. I get the scare factor, but just making that happen is just not a good decision. But yeah, those are my two picks for the Re Resident Evil games that should be remade after Resident Evil 4. And it's going to be awesome, guys, if they do this. Uh, Capcom, if you're watching this, please do it. Okay, uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, this, If you guys haven't, please subscribe. I plan on bringing more Resident Evil content to the channel. So if you guys haven't, please subscribe. Also, hit that bell beside the subscribe button. Click on you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you. Um, also, guys, please subscribe. I mean, uh, leave a comment down below if you want to geek out of Resident Evil. So it'd be cool to hear your guys' opinion. Or if you have another game in mind that they should remake, let me know. Um, so, uh, also, please uh, share this video to your friends. Get them on board the channel. I do multiple things. And I also have another Left Behind Res the Antichrist uh, update coming out today. So stay tuned for that. Also, please uh, uh, hit the
hit that like button. It will help the channel grow a little bit more. It recommends my videos to more people that expand it. And yeah, I'll see you out there, movie lovers. This is Brad McDonald signing out.